the patient sits with his arm behind the back. We can palpate the spine of the scapula in the lateral direction. As soon as we lose contact with the bone, we come back onto the bone and palpate in an anterior direction. We know for sure that we are on the acromion. The tendon, with its insertion on the greater tuberosity, is found just beyond the anterior edge of the acromion. The deep friction is done in the normal way, with the index finger of the homolateral hand reinforced by the middle finger. The thumb should be placed quite far down the arm, so that a downward pressure is exerted on the greater tuberosity, the index finger nail remaining horizontal. If we put the thumb posteriorly, with the nail of the index finger pointing anteriorly, a pressure is exerted to the front of the acromion, frictioning the acromion instead of the supraspinatus. The patient sits with his arm in about 90 degrees of abduction. The therapist stands at the other side and uses the middle finger of the homolateral hand, reinforced by the index finger. We palpate the space between the spine of the scapula and the clavicle towards the lateral direction and look for tenderness. The palpation is a prosupination movement with flexed middle finger. This deep friction is an exception to the general rule because now there are two active phases instead of an active and a relaxation phase. We use the middle finger to obtain equal range in both directions. Make sure to perform a large movement, keeping the distal interphalangeal joint in slight flexion. The patient lies in the sphinx position. 90 degrees of elbow flexion, with the shoulder in slight lateral rotation and adduction. This is the best, but not always the most comfortable position. For that reason, there is an alternative position in side lying, where the same components as in the Sphinx position can be built in. Technique The palpation is a supination movement with flexed thumb. We palpate under the spine of the scapula in the lateral direction. The difference between muscle belly, soft, tendinous body, cable, and insertion, cable and bone, is felt. The deep friction itself is taking in a reserve of skin in a pronation direction first then applying pressure and performing the active phase of the movement, which is a supination. Since the skin in this area is so vulnerable, a thin layer of cotton wool is used between the patient's skin and our thumb. It is best to perform this technique with both hands, whereby one thumb reinforces the other. Make sure the frictioning thumb stays flexed, otherwise you lose good contact. Palpation. For a right subscapularis, we palpate with the left thumb under the clavicle in lateral direction. We reach the coracoid process. We move caudal and laterally again till we feel the lesser tuberosity. Lateral to this bone, we find a bicipital groove. Back to the lesser tuberosity, thumb in a 45 degrees direction pointing to the nipple, make a large movement of the thumb forwards, taking the skin with us and back to the lesser tuberosity with the thumb flexed. Now we bring our thumb back in the longitudinal direction for the deep friction. We friction in a caudocranial direction with the flexed thumb reinforced by some fingers. We can locate the groove lateral to the lesser tuberosity. With the patient's arm in lateral rotation, the contralateral thumb is put longitudinally into the groove and pressure is exerted sideways. The active phase of the deep friction is a medial rotation with the other arm, while the thumb exerts pressure. 